Yeah, yeah, what's going on, world? It's your man David Gammon from Saiga City Gamers. I'm here with the one and only Air, one of the best Ryu players in the entire world. He's here in Atlanta at Final Round 14. So, Air, how do you feel right now, man? Uh, I feel very excited. So what brings you down here to Final Round? Some people come here from Marvel vs. Capcom, some from Street Fighter. Like, what brings you down here? Uh, Street Fighter. I'm here to compete for Street Fighter. Okay, and now, uh, speaking of Street Fighter, how do you feel about the Super Street Fighter 4 series in general? Are you still excited about it, or are you looking forward to the part, you know, uh, Arcade Edition? You no, know, what are your thoughts? I'm looking forward to Arcade Edition, but um, I haven't really been playing, so... Yeah, I'm waiting for the arcade edition. Uh, hopefully the hype will be back again. Okay, okay. And speaking of that, are you also learning how to play Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Or are you just loyally sticking to Street Fighter? What's what going on with that? I, try, I actually tried the first day I bought the game. After two hours, it's not really my game. I mean, I like it, but uh, it's not my game right now. And I don't really have time because I have a full-time job. So maybe in the future I'll give it a shot. Well, Street Fighter 4 is still my game right now. And I guess that's how you feel, right? Yeah. It, it's, I mean, Marvel is really fun, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of too broken for me right now. Like, every character can like just kill you instantly. So Let's also talk about Mortal Kombat 9. This is a game that's entirely different from any of the Capcom series, of course. So how do you feel about that? Are you excited? Or are you even thinking of playing it? What's your thoughts? I'll give it a shot for sure, because I used to love this game when I was a kid. And yeah, I'm looking forward. All right, so uh, you know, in the beginning, I did introduce you as one of the best Ryu players in the world. And you know, a lot of people see that. You don't even have to say it. Your 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 gameplay speaks for itself. Speaking of gameplay, what is unique about your gameplay? What do you say makes you different from the millions of Ryu players that are probably out there? Um, I right, check this out. I would say I go for mix-ups, and I'm really aggressive. Like I'm a King of Fighter, I'm a King of Fighter player originally, and I don't have much patience. So I use, I try to rush down more. I always try to attack. I don't really defend myself. Oh wow, a rush down with you. That's interesting. I guess so. I don't try to attack. I don't really try to like wait you out or anything. Excellent, excellent. And obviously it works because you won a lot of different matches against a lot of top players. Now, how do you feel about a fighting game league? That's the question that I'm trying to ask all the different, you know, gamers, especially the ones that attend many tournaments. And what I mean by that is like an NBA, uh, Major League Baseball, NFL type of league where pro players can actually qualify, get paid to travel and play other gamers. Uh, I think it would be really awesome because at least I think I'll actually get paid <laughs> if, if this league is going to happen. Yeah, you know, whenever there's money involved, you can't say no to that, right? Yeah. As long as there's money, I think it's it's gonna be really awesome. Yeah, like I think like the gaming community is getting bigger and bigger. I think it's possible that it's gonna happen. Definitely, we hope so. You know, we, we covered a few topics that a lot of people are interested in. Now, one thing that only you can give an answer to, what's next for you? What are you working on? Is there anything new or exciting? You know, what's going on in the world of air? Um, I'm trying to think if I should stick with my main for AE and what I'm working for right now is I'm still trying to get a sponsor, so my travel expenses and everything. Excellent, excellent. Hey, you hear that, guys? If you're watching this video, hey, he's a free agent. And also, you said you're trying to, you know, you're thinking about switching your main. What about a grappler? I mean, you know, Zangief, that's my man. So what is what's going on? No, it has to be some... Has to be a Shoto? It doesn't have to be a Shoto, but it has to be a character that can play really aggressive. <laughs> I'm sorry, Geek Plays. You, you heard what he said, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, and the last question that I want to ask you here. What has been your biggest accomp accomplishment so far? I mean, you've done a lot of things, you've traveled the world pretty much, and now you're here in America, in Atlanta, Georgia. So what would you say is the most uh, memorable moment that you've had in the fighting game community so far? Um, I would say qualifying for SBO in Japan and actually getting top eight, because we fought uh, Momochi's team in SBO for, I don't know, semi or top eight, I forgot. And we almost beat them. If we beat them, I think we can actually get best three or actually, or maybe we can win because they are the champion team for last year's SBO. So I think we would have done better if we won. 
Okay, definitely a good answer there. Momochi, I mean, come on, you guys have heard of him. I'm pretty sure you've seen a match or two of his in the internet, so that's definitely a great thing. And, uh, you know, before I let you go, do you have any shout-outs, any, you know, anything you want to say to anyone out there? I have it for some people. Um, so first, shout-outs to uh, Gamerspid and Wilson, beat on a cone. Johnny Lee from Calgary and all my friends in Vancouver. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot, Ian. Thank Take you. care. Have fun Thank with you. the tournament.